Welcome back to Maddencast, and it's week one. It's week one of the National Football League, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Bills and the Jets on Monday night. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up, as it will be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New York Jets. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night, all sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? And the Jets set to take the field. Now the second year man back from injury, it's Brees Hall. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line and they hold him to just a yard. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There you go, Charles, the first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Second and goal at the nine-yard line. Operating from the gun, Henry. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. They'll look to throw on third and goal. The quick slant caught. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch, however. It's fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets are on the board here first in the season opener. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and goal, and they punch it in for the touchdown. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coaches to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, well, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? 
like Jim Otto used to wear or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Henry. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Poyer. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. That's where they'll take over. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass, that's one you put in the trophy case. First <laughs> career interception, that's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? No. Yeah, you can keep that one. Sudden, we've got a new ball game back to level after that interception that he threw. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On second down, a run the hole. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Looking to throw. Henry. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Looking to throw on second down. Henry. And he completes it to Wilson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Off the play fake, Henry. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown, and the Jets have taken the lead. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head... Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. On uh, the previous drive, he connected with Garrett Wilson for the touchdown. Here they go again, first and ten. Play action. Henry. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. 14 yards. They'll give to Hall. He can't get him down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 42 now, here's second and two. Hall again on second down. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. On first down, Henry. Open man here is Conklin. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. A pretty nice, strong run, but can't break away down just inside the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Back to throw. Henry. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 15-yard line. Now, stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Hall ought to give up the middle. Fights loose. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. They'll run with Hall. And he's in. Touchdown, Chance. Brees Hall. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jets have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. First and ten, Henry. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Escaping the pressure right. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. They're going to find the open man. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Nicole Hardman, 63 yards. And the Jets are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what you're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Off the play fake. Henry rolling to his right. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Seven. Now Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, 
that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll roll him out right. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. A handoff for Hall. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Off play action, Henry. And that will be incomplete. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He has been... Throwing to start the drive. Henry flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Here's a give to Hall. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Flush to his right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's played well. Now Hall to start the drive. Shoves him away. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet Football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four. On first down, right back to Hall. And fighting down inside the 25. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try to finish off the game. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Here's second and 10. Off the bootleg, Henry. He finds Wilson, and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. They'll run here with Hall, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside, but he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. 
Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 14. But with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to them and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Hall. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love the New York set to take the field. They go play action here on first down. From the left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run. It's Hall. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Hall again on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Steps away. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout. Week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for the Jets, it's a great win here on a Monday night as they'll start the new campaign 1-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they go down.
Thank you. 